What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sunday, and uh, we are we are having a problem with uh. Well, I was having a problem, so let me just get straight with what's going on here, everybody. Um, let's go over to the browser window. And let me say hello to Drake, who's with me here. <laughs> Drake, how well, you doing? What's up? Yeah, what's up? Uh, Rob's in a little bit of a, a panic mode just before the stream starts because of uh, high tech stuff, you know. Right. You know, um, mouses my, and, and controllers and stuff. Right. My mouse wasn't working at all. Uh, I rebooted my machine twice. I tried different ports. My mouse simply just wouldn't work. So now I'm on a backup mouse. And so basically what that means is it was all I could do to get the stream going. And I didn't have uh, time to prepare, which won't really affect too much. But uh, we'll do the best we can to get it rolling. So what's up, everybody in the chat? I believe it's just the two of us today. Yeah, it's just Drake and I here. Just uh, the two of us. Robin won't be here as she informs us. Fearied won't be here because she just doesn't show up sometimes. That's how that goes. Preparation, who needs it? So today we're going to be covering uh, the ongoing save effects, which I, I even didn't change the title of the stream. So let me do that now. Uh, this is going to be episode 267, and it's ongoing, ongoing, what is it? Ongoing, ongoing. save effects. I don't know. Oh, no, you shared the wrong screen for me, too. I got your chatty. Oh, okay, then I'll fix that. <laughs> I'll go over here and fix that for you. So, stop sharing. Start sharing, share screens. Oh, they changed it. Screens used to be the first one. Now it's applications is the first one. I just did it by muscle memory. So there you go. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Let's go back over to the uh, here. Let's copy this. And we'll put that right up here in OBS. And then we'll go get the secondary thing, which this actually, actually, this doesn't matter because this is just the, that's the thing that goes out for the going live, which we've already done wrongly. We did it wrongly, everybody. All right, so now we'll go and close this, which it didn't do. Why didn't it close? I don't, I don't like it. It's not yeah, closing. You're selecting there we go. OBS behind, there you go. And then we'll go here. And we'll go get the ongoing save effects to show everybody on DMs Guild. Kitty, I know it's streaming time and time. The cat doesn't make any noise all fucking day. And I come and sit in this chair. And then all he does is meow for 75 minutes straight. He's all right, let's get you guys. Tell the stream that you don't have any shorts on. That's what he's telling I me. have boxers on. <laughs> All right, so this is Fantasy Grounds Meow Ongoing Save Effects by Kent McCullough. And this is an extension. So we'll go turn it on. And then while it's loading up the table, we'll go over what it does. And then we'll show what it does. So it's ongoing. Save effects right here. You have to have the extension turned on, so we'll do that. Boom. Now we'll go back over here. And there's different commands you can use. Save O, which is a modifier to track. Um, hold on, I have to squirt my cat in the face. <laughs> hold on. As he climbs on the, he knows he's not supposed to be on the desk, and yet he does it anyway. Um, 
So save O is the effect modifier used to track and roll saving throws that occur at the start of the turn. Save damage is a modifier that defines the damage that occurs when a saving throw is failed. And save OE is at the end of the turn. And save EF is that can be used to add effects to the target is if the sale is a uh, fail, if the fail, if the uh, save is failed. English. Is that fair? English. That's fair. Um, so let's take a look at some examples of that. Uh, he's got some examples here, but we'll show them in action. So let's go to the combat tracker, which I know we have a few people in, like Ronnie. Drake, are you on the... Are you on the money on that? What, that right there? Ronnie, Ronnie Bobby, Mickey, and Mike. <laughs> so let me get rid of his... I was already scrolling when you said it, but... Yeah. It <laughs> so, Ronnie uh, will add an effect, and let's just use one of the examples as provided by the DMs Guild. Um, so, stat oh. use for the saving throw with the three letters, DC value, property is optional. If it's the damage magical in nature, if so, the property apply magic resistance, written M. This property is optional. Does the effect do half damage? Okay, then it's H. Okay, so here is For example, spirit guard. Oh, you know what we can do? I'll tell you exactly what we can do. We can get examples of this out of the Rob 2 e codings, which is what we shall do. So let's, the spells are open. Let's go to the, let's go to the spells reference manual and let's see what is the code for Kent. McCullough extensions. It is the plus sign. So now what we can do is we can open the spells list with all the codings in it, make sure we're just in the spell codings, and we can search for the plus sign, right? And this will show us all of the ones that have these special codes. So let's open us up a character sheet for Ronnie here. Go down to his actions tab. And we've got several things on his actions tab. So let's use an example of uh, what was the one that was on the DM skill page? Uh, oh, Spirit Guardians. Okay. So let's find Spirit Guardians. Let's add that to his sheet. Right. So now here is the code. Now, you're going to see in some cases where there's a DC. And of course, that DC is going to need to be edited because it's different for every scenario. So let's just call this 12 and we'll put a 12 there. Okay. So now let's add Spirit Guardians. Uh, what, what does Spirit Guardians do? Oh, of course, we have to open the PHB. We, we can't read the spell because it's copyright. Uh well okay let's open let's open uh the the what? player's handbook so that we can get spirit guardians because we want to understand what we're doing. Player's handbook, you guys. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna open that, and this now we have the description in here, uh, or at least we will if we reopen this. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't. No, no, because I don't have the link fill extension turned on, but that's okay. I can click this. Here we go. You call four spirits and they fit around you and distance of 15 feet. And when you cast a spell, you can designate any number of creatures. Okay. And unaffected creatures. <laughs> okay. On a fail. Okay. Must make a wisdom save. They're on a failed save. Creature takes 3d8 radiant. <coughs> okay. So, 
this does get applied to mobs that are, you know, coming into your area. All right. So this gets applied to ourself. So let us apply it to ourself. And then we're going to watch as, oh, it didn't, it didn't do it. Oh, 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 because it's not set to self. Oh, no, this. Oh, yeah, no, no, this. Sorry, my bad. This does get applied to the mob. OK, so let's apply it. Let's clear the cloud giants damage and let's apply it to the cloud giant. Right. Now. It's going to save when it gets to the cloud giants turn. It's going to save. And there it is. And he succeeded on the save. So it gave him 3d8 radiant half. And it did it all automatically. So it's going to stay there. And um, Spirit Guardians is a concentration spell, which will stay on that mob until the person who cast it loses concentration, right? So let's say. It comes around to the cloud giant's turn again. It's going to. He didn't, he didn't leave the air. He's like, oh, I'm a cloud giant. I'm a cloud giant. I am. I have many. You only did four damage. I have 200 hit points. I'm not scared of you. So it goes to the beginning of his turn again. And he succeeds on the save again. Like so he only takes half. Again. Now. I'm going to do a little thing. I'm going to go in here to this effect and he can he can take sneak attack up. i'm going to change this to save oe and what does that mean drake it uh, what, says at the end of the turn right so now let's come back again falling damage oh <laughs> falling damage oh that's funny wait what's happening I didn't roll that. It, you passed the cloud giant's turn with the E on it, and it did. did the oh, e oh, the no, because I thought I, I thought that wasn't. Well, yeah, you're right. So we're used <laughs> to seeing that at the beginning of its turn, which we didn't see now. But when I pass the to the end of its turn, now it will roll. And again, he rolls a twenty. What a what a what a what a smart ass. Anyway, so that's how that works. So that's pretty cool. Let's um. Let's do another example. Well, I mean, we don't need to do another example because that, that explains it all. Now, some of the other things this does is the save damage. This effect modifier defines the damage that occurs when the saving throw is failed. So. Oh, that, and we already have that on there. Yes, we have the save OE as the command. It's a wisdom DC of twelve, magical half half if fail on a on a on a, on a uh, success, and then it says here's the save damage and what it is. So that's all added in there. Um, I I believe that's most of what it does. And the favorite thing to do is combine this with the auras and have like a whole little. Yeah, section around you, and do, 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 do. It, it works out pretty good, actually. Player management, though, I require the player to manage all that crap. <laughs> player management. Now, save end. So what's the difference yeah. between save OE and save end? Well, at the end of your turn, you will get to roll a saving throw versus paralyzed. Or at the end of your turn, you will take damage. They're two different things. Right, but what I'm saying is, what is the difference between save end and save OE, which which to me means save on end.
I should know the answer to this. It's the way the spells are worded. So let's go up here and read this. Save OE works the same as save O, except at the end of the turn. So save O is an effect modifier used to track the rolling of saving throws that occur at the start of your turn. This is used with save damage. It is for ongoing saves. Someone in the chat's going to speak up and save end effect modifier is used to automatically roll saving throws for effects which allow the save at the end of a turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, damage. Or oh, effect. right. Okay, so it's it's you're doing a saving throw to see if you take damage versus doing a saving throw to end an effect like charmed or paralyzed or you know any 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 of the any of the effects. Mm -hmm. So my cats are just going nuts. At least they're being quiet. So let's let's look at an example of that. Um we'll just make an example here. Yeah, okay. I can't double check that. I don't no idea. Is okay, so let's say we're going to put on the effect of being paralyzed. And then save and paralyze. But I, do you have to Yeah, you you have to actually you have to actually put in the number, right? You have to actually say what is the Yeah. So let's do that. Now, I don't know if this is going to work right. It rolled the save. Failed. Did okay, take so. It off? No, it didn't take it off. Okay, maybe I should lower that DC for purposes of example. All right, let's go try that again. Why is falling damage rolling something? At the, oh, no, it's not. It's, it's still doing it's this. The end it's, of the yeah, spirit guardian. Yeah, track. I got you. All right, here we go. Paralyze expired. All right, so now did it take it off? No, I, I see. So yeah. I, I had, well, well it, it took it off. Yeah, I just, I put that on there as an extra thing. That's I should not have done that. So it did do it. I mean, so technically, there you go. the monster should have put it on Romney with concentration, and then it would have been... If right, well, I so basically what I did was I just made it so that Ronnie became paralyzed. And then... So the paralyzed condition is part of it. Normally you would just have the word paralyzed only. But if you add this save in wisdom DC eight, then at the end of his turn, he will roll to save. And if he passes the save, it will remove the condition. And it, it, right. So there you go. That's it. Um, so we have save O, save OE. We have save damage used with those. Now we have save effect type, which can be used to add effects to the target. If the save is failed. Oh, interesting. So let's go back. And if you, that is, uh, that is graphs. really that is really the nice. Yeah, Thank you. One. So, save O, wisdom DC. Yes, Zayshan, you should use Team Two E products all the time. Save 
effect poison. Okay, so if he fails the save, it should. Did I? Let me see if I did that right. Savey, I think I put too many E's. No, I didn't. Okay. So it, it should like work. It to me. I, was like, I know. It looked like there were three. Okay. So he succeeded. So let's try again. There's a fumble. Yep. He, he failed and it added poisoned. Now, what it didn't do is remove that. And I'm wondering why that did not get removed. Um, well, does it give him, will it continue to give him the poison if he keeps failing? Does it stack it up? Do, what the hell? Do you have to because... put on save O and save effect at the same time or something save ends well this this should this should do the save and then if this condition is met it should remove everything well it failed the saving throw so it got poisoned get out of here you stupid pussies So here's here's what we had. We had this, and then we uh -huh. we came to his turn, and it did the save. Uh huh. And he failed, and it put the poisoned on him. Right. So he succeeded. He hey, get out of here! God damn you, cats! Get out of here! So just so everybody knows what's going on. If you want to just... send Rob one of those horns to go. No, so I I just get lazy. So they got on the desk and they knocked their treats box onto the floor. So then now they think, oh, free for all. We get to sniff <laughs> this and claw at this and scratch at this. And instead, we all heard it happen and yeah. discovered that this his cat does the same thing. But they're so stealthily that they got up on the desk that I'm using without e without e I didn't even notice it. The same desk my computer's on. The cat jumped up on it just in my periphery or just out of my periphery and I didn't even notice it. Get out of here! You guys are grounded. They don't understand. Hey, stop chewing on my oxygen cord. Oh my god. These cats have to go to a fucking major timeout. Um, so... <laughs> chewing on my oxygen cord. That's not good. So here's the thing. If this had said save damage two D six fire that would have gone away. Let's try. It's gonna do two saves. It succeeded on both. Let's try these. Try these again. All right, failed on one. Oh no! It doesn't take the save away. So what does what? take the save away? Well, end at save O E or whatever yeah. it is. Oh, save, save O E. No, no. It, save O E just does it at the end of the turn. Save O does it at the beginning of the turn. Oh, when the so the the save save O and save O E just signifies when it is done. O is at the beginning. Save end. No, save end Gorvidal, as we recently discovered, is only for conditions. It only works for conditions. Save in DC. Yeah, save in DC 8. That's what you need to put on the code. Yeah, I have that. Wisdom DC 8. Save 
end wisdom DC eight. Save E N D. No. Save end does conditions only at the end of a turn. What if <coughs> you guys well, are getting wait, confused? It is no, confusing, but I'm so let me let me say this to everybody that's watching. It is kind of confusing, but I myself am not confused because there's three scenarios. There's saving at the beginning of the turn, which is save O. There's saving at the end of the turn, which is save OE. And there's also saving at the end of the turn, but only for conditions, which is save END. So there's three different scenarios. Now, what I'm asking is, why aren't these coming off once they've fulfilled their, you know, once they've... It's not coded that way. It's coded that they, every round, that they have to roll a saving throw. Right, but then once that's failed, it should end, right? Or or that that's what I'm asking. How do you make it do that? <laughs> right, that scroll <coughs> down, I thought it said at the if you add keep keep going. There it is. Save O E work save in D C parameters. So hmm. Label, let's see, paralyze, save end, wisdom DC, the save end tells the save to end. The oh, end. maybe the, the save. Oh, God damn it. It's not one thing, it's another. Now my earpieces are falling out. Maybe what's going on is that the save end is the one that expires, whereas the save OE does not expire. Right, and it also says on a successful save, the effect will automatically expire. Right. Whereas these do not. Right. But I, so my confusion is I could have sworn that when we first started the show and did the very first effect, I thought it did come off. I thought it expired and came and went away. That's what I thought happened. <coughs> I mean, <coughs> let's do it again. I never had to like type it in. I always just copy and paste. Because here, here's work, so. here's the one we used. So let's do it. Let's just go back and re recreate what we did. So oh, just my imagination. It didn't go away. I just thought it did. So now. If we have um, changed this to save end, then it's going to do that stuff and take it away. Or at least it should have. Boy. Doesn't help me to sell some crap if I don't know how the fuck it works, does it? Right, but you're combining the O and the end, and I don't know if those work together right. Do another turn. So failed. Yeah, so Yeah, so save in would be a condition and save O is damage, I think is is part of it too. Yeah, so this 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 clarifies it. So save end only works if you have <coughs> oh. <coughs> Save end only oh god damn it. Now not only did my mouse not work, now it's working great because I don't know how to use it. Um so save end only works if you have something there like a condition, right? So let's try that. Oh, but I can't have half and magical in there. Let's try that again.
Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Right. So I. So I've just been. You know. As as is as you can go back through the last six years of this show, it's just me doing stuff to show people how to work it when I don't know how to work it and I'm doing everything wrong. That's what this show is. <laughs> so, but we showed just Sabo. The instructions. They're there. They we we showed how to, how to use it. We showed that it works. We showed Save OE. We showed how to use it. We showed that it works. Save damage is a. See, this is kind of this is kind of the way he's got this is sort of misleading because he's got this like bold and then he's got these bold, but this is a, this is a parameter, not a command. And this is a parameter, not a command. So there's, there's actually three, as I said, can commands and, and two parameters that are bolded out in, in his instructions right here. So, uh, but you guys get it. So you can basically what you can do is you can set up, a automatic saving throw at the beginning of someone's turn. You can set up an automatic saving throw at the end of someone's turn, both to administer damage, including magical damage or half damage on a failed save, that kind of a thing. You can also set up an end of turn saving throw to remove a condition like paralyzed or prone or, you know, any of the conditions, right? That might be on you. Thank you, Winak, for uh, resubbing. And then <clears throat> you can do all those examples we showed and you can do it all automatically for the low, low price of $5. It's only $5. And so, if you have Rob Tui's coding spell effects package, you don't have to even read the instructions. You just put this shit on the uh, creatures and you're ready to rock. That's right. Gorby doll. Right, thank you rock. for the resub, sir. Also hydrate. I need it. I did it. Uh, Mosk and Foz. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And um, if you are thinking about buying this, you could instead go all the way down and buy either the Team Tui, Team Tui bundle or the Kent, Kent McCullough bundle, which has all of his fantastic... Yeah, Kent's automatic, got a bunch of good automatic ones, critical yeah. damage, automatic death resistance, yeah. automatic elemental depth, automatic flanking and range, automatic half luck. There's my favorite right Which there. One? That's my favorite half luck. luck, man. Automatic lingering it effects. It surprises you almost every time. Like yeah, automatic mirror image is one of my favorites. Um, automatic oh yeah, return damage, great. automatic save advantage, automatic shield master, automatic sneak attack is very popular. Yeah, automatic spell resistance. Lot. He's got misflavor text and he's got ongoing save effects on turn based effects. Yeah, so he's oh, got a bunch of them. Misflavor text is his too? I didn't even realize. I love that mm -hmm. one too. So, um, do you guys have any questions? I apologize for that being slightly confusing if there's people watching that have never used it. But um, once you incorporate it into your games, and especially if you are using the Rob Tui spell codings. Perhaps even class codings might have. Yeah, class class has a few of them too. Classes? Um, or, uh, there's sneak attack right there. Yeah, because sneak attack... Well, that, that's, that, that, that's, that uses his codes, but not the one we were talking about. But um, a bunch of them use... Uh, the on turn, the the on turn thing. <laughs> <coughs> so if you guys have questions, let us know, and we'll answer those. Otherwise, I think we might be have another short show today. I don't know what I'm going to do about this mouse. It's brand new. I mean, it's only like a month old. Well, break out your laptop and get it up and running and then plug the the old mouse into the laptop and see if it is the mouse. Yeah, I'll have to do that. Or or give it to Sven to take home or something, you know. No, I, I mean I can yeah, as long as I as long as I, you know, cuz I only had 5 minutes before the stream when I panicked and Right, right. My mouse so I mean my mouse was working yesterday. So what happened between today and yesterday? And I honestly don't think this has any batteries in it. It it's 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 it's, it's powered by the USB. And all the lights are lit up on it. 
it just doesn't work. And I plugged it into, I've unplugged it and plugged it back in. What brand is it? It's um Corsair. Now, wait a minute. When I unplug it, the lights are still on. So maybe there is batteries. <laughs> but then if there is batteries in it, first of all, A, where are the fucking batteries? And B, if the batteries are dead, then how are the lights on? I don't understand anything that's happening right now. Or C, you think it's unplugged and it's not. It's well, no, I'm I'm unplugging it, like physically taking the USB cord out of the mouse. Yeah, how does this even light up? There's got to be batteries in here. So maybe that is it. Well, listen, I guess I have to go online and see how do I open the battery thing. Because on most mouse, the battery compartment is like super, like... So obvious you can't even. No, I have miss one that you, you have to like every single time at the office. Every single time I have to go and figure out how to open the stupid thing. Really? But it because it has like the top comes off of it or some crap. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I don't want to break this, but all right. Well, I'll figure it out later. I got the I got my backup mouse working for me here. All right, did we have any questions? Let's see. Oh, oh, so yeah, so the exact mouse is a. Uh, Corsair, uh, uh, it's called a Corsair. Get a magnifying glass so you can read the rest of. Holy shit! Let me get my <laughs> cell phone camera here. Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro SE. I'll say that again. Corsair Dark Core. RGB Pro SE. The the SE comes with the 4.3 liter. It's a little faster. <laughs> it's a oh. it hooks to your Mercedes. Um Oh, and you know what, Sinbarchi, that might be the case. Or we'd all that could also be the case. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a little time on the show here to go. Dark care. Whatever, it's close enough. Google will know. Core. Okay, here we go. Here, here's 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 some kind of thing right here. Set the power switch on the bottom of the mouse to off. Yeah, meanwhile, I can't tell which I can't even fucking tell what these symbols are. One of them's a power. Okay, hold on. Oh, to off. Okay. Right. And then do what? Hold down, Hold down the, the forward, forward and, and back side back buttons. Side buttons. And then while the holding power down the on. side button, set the power switch to on. All right, that that did not do anything. So. Nice, Zayshan. <coughs> oh, my God. After around five seconds, release the buttons. Did you do it for five seconds? No. There was another line. Oh, wireless also... mouse. The other one said side buttons. To reset a dark core pro and or SE, which I have, set the power switch on the bottom to off. Okay. Hold down the forward and back side buttons. I'm assuming that's these two. 
Holding down the buttons, set the power switch to on. Yeah, it didn't didn't do anything. The one above it says after five seconds, release the buttons. But that's for the wireless mouse. Why? I yeah. don't know why it would be different. What to do if resetting doesn't work? Reach out to customer service. Yeah. So how the hell do you do that? Oh, okay. Contact us. The first thing I would do is plug it into my. Yeah, laptop. I'll try. <laughs> See if it works there. If it works there, then something's wrong with oh. your computer. <clears throat> not the oh, I, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask, does the, does this, uh, uh, have a battery. So it has a QI wireless charging, so you don't need to plug it in. The battery life can be extended by disabling the RGB lighting. Oh, I'm trying to use that mouse. <laughs> But it doesn't, oh, dark core gaming mouse battery. Holy shit. Oh, you know what I need to do is I need to go to dark, uh, what, what is that? What called? I think you probably need to do is just reinstall your Corsair software, you know, yeah. update it, and then it'll probably start working. Why don't you load that in and see if it helps your uh, your IQ? Account? That's where I'm trying. To... Oh, IQ. Thank you, IQ. I couldn't. I C U E. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't think of what the name of it was. Windows cannot find IQ. Well, that seems to be a problem. There is a update. Where the hell is Nvidia. it? Nvidia. Corsair Diagnostics is empty? What is happening? Oh, fuck me. Maybe this somehow got off my... I mean, I'm not going to do it on the show, but at least we can... Yeah, my Corsair thing I have to update. Wait, what's... Hey, 11.7. All right. Let's do it. What? No, I'm already signed. No, sign in. I'm already part of you people. There it goes. There we go. Now download. What? Or skip. skip. Install IQ. Okay, I won't do this while we're streaming because that'll be that's recipe for a disaster. No, it's probably going to say, "Do you wish to restart your computer now?" And then yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> Crash. all right, let's see. Um, did you, get, did you give it away? What? Oh yeah, prize! Holy shit! Almost forgot. Don't know what I'm doing. Let's do raffle. Keyword raffle. So you, you guys give away you your five dollar extension, or or anything that I've ever made. You can. oh. Oh, not just that, um, but not a bundle. No bundles, please. <laughs> um, what happened to my IQ button? Now I can't find my. There it is. All right, it's gonna be a little little tough one, everybody. But you have to type in exclamation point. No bundles, please. You have to spell it right. Whoa. Barbie doll did not spell it right. It says it. No bundles. Please. No bundles, please. And not with a Z bonus. B-U-N-D-L-E-S. Barbie doll, you got to get it in there again. Ooh, it's raining. Barbie doll, yeah. 
All right, so Simbarchi's in, Nafim's in, Winax in, Zayshan, Robert, Gorbidal, Kelawan, Lady, Mosk and Paws. Those are all the names I have so far, nine names. By the way, everybody, I've oh, weaned myself okay. down to two liters per minute. I used to be at four. Now I'm down to two. Wow, that's a lot of Diet Coke, man. No, 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 no. This is oxygen. Oh, sorry. And all right, I think the uh, timer ran out, everybody. So let me win the let me do the winner. Boom, Mosk and Foz. You are the winner. <laughs> Mosk and Foz, you know what to do. You do these things. You uh, pick out a prize. And by the way, I can give you the easy links. There's the Forge. And here's the DMs Guild. You can go to both those links and search through some things. Find something you want that you don't have. And then send me a personal message in Discord. And remember, links are appreciated. Then it's easy for me to go to that thing and give it to you. And uh, only send me your email if you're getting something from the DMs Guild. And only send me some your forum name if you're getting something from the Forge. And that's how you do it. And uh, don't forget, guys, you can come on other days to this channel. On Wednesdays, we do Solasta or we do Baldur's Gate. And on Fridays, we do, starting this Friday again, we do... Some show. What, what show is it? Let's find out. <laughs> I can't wait for the slides. I don't know. I'm going to go back and add. I got to go back and add the. It's a uh, Havoc's um, game, right? Yeah, it's Havoc's game. All the Candle Keep Misters. So that goes up on. Okay, so. Baldur's Gate or Solasta on Wednesday. Friday is Candlekeep Mysteries. Yeah. Saturdays is either Against the Giants, which is Drake's show, mm -hmm. or Dragonlance. I like to I like which to put this, an apostrophe where the second A is, Dragonlance. Which this Friday is Against the Giants. Saturday, you mean? Or Saturday, yeah. And or... then Sunday we do this show. So there you go. Street oh. Cam. Street Cam. Okay, so Street Cam is not... Here, I'll push the button for the Street Cam, which will be a black screen. Because Street Cam is not loaded. Let's go load it. Let's load blue stacks. Which for some reason comes on that monitor over there, which makes me upset. And then once that loads, <laughs> load alarm.com and scroll down to the cameras. Here's the front porch. Here is the other cameras. And now you guys will be able to see the driveway, which recently caught footage of an animal. Oh, cone down. There's cone, cone down out front. Cone down. And uh, What's that laying in your yard. Or what is so that? that is orange. That is orange meshing that they've strung across the street to prevent people from driving through there. Because now, just to the right of the fire hydrant is about a 20 by 20 by 20 hole in, in the dirt. What? What do you mean? Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, so there's a giant gaping hole, which if it were daylight, you'd be able to see like the edge of it. But, uh, uh yeah, so they they dug a big dug a big hole there. What's the Cat temperature out fault? there in Spokane? Temperature now is 44 degrees. Burr. Alexa, what's the outside temperature? 74 degrees. At 10 o'clock. Oh at my night. God. What a miserable fuck. 
I'd be miserable if it was 77 degrees in November. It's it's not that hot when you look out the window. You're like, it's not that hot outside in the air condition. Well, so first of all, under any circumstance, inside or out, above 70 degrees is misery for me. <laughs> Perfectly comfortable is 65. And so my house, inside my house, people come over that to put jackets on because inside my house, 65 degrees, whether it's July or January, doesn't matter. The problem with that is if I go anywhere, if I go to someone else's house, I invariably can't do it or I can't stay very long because no one keeps their house as cold as I do. So when I go over to any other person's house, I just sit there burning up. I'm really uncomfortable the whole time. <clears throat> Luckily, if you go to a movie theater or the mall, places like that, grocery store, they do tend to keep those places on the cooler side. Or uh, unfortunately <clears throat> for uh, you lately, hospitals. Also. Hospitals. And I, yeah. when I get in there, the first thing I do is the nurse comes in. Hi, my name's Janice. And I say, hi, turn the air conditioning on. Very first thing out of my mouth. Unless I can, unless I can find it myself, then I just do it. But yes, I have been a frequent guest at at the hospital. My air conditioning set at seventy three. So, well, there's a big difference when it's hot outside in seventy three, seventy two is nice inside, but if it's cold outside 73 is yeah. hot as hell. <clears throat> it's funny because when I, I lived in arizona for 10 years and it you know it was 100 fucking degrees at night right so i would just have my air conditioner set at like 68 and budget three thousand dollars a month for air conditioning i'm just kidding but you know what i mean like i i just would pay whatever it was because i i had to do it i couldn't <clears throat> and then when i lived in la for 10 years all I had was a air conditioner unit, like a box inside the wall, halfway between inside and outside, one of those things, right? But my whole apartment was only like 280 square feet. So <laughs> the, it kept it nice and cool. You know, I, I, think... just, I just cranked that thing all the way up to max winter or summer, but it had a regulator on it. So it would stop if it got too cold or whatever. But It didn't even have temperature my, uh... on it. It just had... Low, medium, and high, and I'd fucking crank that thing on. You know what you call that? You call that a refrigerator when it's that you know when it's that small. It's just a. It was about the same size as my little college boy mini fridge I had in there. So yeah, if you try to get the temperature in my house to like sixty eight, it would run all day long. Sure bits, thank you, Mosk and Foz. Sure bits, bit boss, Mosk and Foz, bit boss. All right, um. So I guess I'm going to end the show. Thanks, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for participating. Come back and join us on Wednesday. And this Wednesday will be Baldur's Gate 3. And that will be Robin and Eerie Fate. What's next Sunday's show about? And, and, oh, oh, yeah. What's next Sunday's show about? Let's look. Let's look. Let's look. Next Sunday's show. Oh, first of all. Ooh, a giveaway. <gasps> do we do we lose your mic? No, no, I just was I, I oh. can't <laughs> I can't talk and, and use my backup mouse at the same time. Um yeah, it is a giveaway. Oh my god, that's gonna cost me how much money? The Book of Many Things next week. So it comes out actually um, tomorrow night at midnight. But and, uh, and who's coding that? <laughs> Just asking. Oh, my God. Well, Whoa. it de depends what? on what's in it. What is in uh -huh. it? Let's go yeah, look. What... Let's, let's do a little preview of next week.
This usually tells you what's in it. Fancies. Okay. Oh, it's the deck. Two of new backgrounds, one feet, three spells. So I'll, I'll have to code those. Um, 50 new magic items would be covered under um, Robin stuff. all the rest. You know, Robin yeah. actually, though, is really far behind on that. And I'm wondering if I'm going to have to branch off from that or whatever, because not only has she not had the time to do the coding, but she would she would also then be required to buy all those books which I think is a hardship for her. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to decide about the coding for that. Oh, you'll have to decide on where to And I'm still not caught up on one and start the new one. And yeah, hold on a second. I'm, I'm still not caught up on uh, Wait a minute. Let me go over here. Let me go here to this. Halfling Lux, say Sean. Boy, are you running it. What's twelve seventeen? So Planescape. Oh, <laughs> it's on the list. I see. Fan Delver. Well, f first of all, I didn't. Right, here, let, let me here. Let me do a little uh, back end. Clean up. Uh, Rob Tui. Rob Tui behind the scenes for people. Um, Fan Delver. No, that's got okay. nothing. That Yeah, that, that's got nothing because that's just a setting book and an adventure book. Right, so Planescape. What? Plain. Planescape. Players. Right? Okay. So it has backgrounds, feats, spells. So I have to go over here. And I have to go. <laughs> feats. Spells, backgrounds. So that means... I have to go down here and I have to do this yellow, yellow. I have to do everything yellow right down the line. So this is the, this is sort of my worksheet that I need to go. Like, what do I need to update? Right. I need to update all these and then I put them yellow. And then when they're when after I finish the work, I Put them back to white. So I'll need to do so Lots of them. I'll have to do the background and class equipment bundles, the background proficiencies, language, and features. Also, two different PDFs go with that. So that's that's like three things I have to do. Uh, the feats coding, the spells coding. The feat slits with benefit plus the two PDFs. And then the random PC generator revamped. I got to add all that stuff to that. The wizard spell book. And the spell list with all info, PDF and Google sheet. So that's a lot of updating I have to do. And then when book of many things comes out. I will again have to. Do. More backgrounds, another feat. It's only three spells and two back. So that's just a little bit. Um, and then it's going to need to be decided. Not just for this book, but for other books. What are we going to do? I'm going to have to talk to Robin about that because we're falling behind on the magic items. And then <laughs> there's 50 new ones. Get loud. Well, there's so many magic items in so many different books that haven't been coded. And so we need to decide what we're going to do about that. Uh, also, I, I'm assuming the month is June. I don't know that to be for sure, but I'm just assuming it's June. 
but when the 2024 core rule books come out, there's going to be way more spells and way more magic items at a very minimum and probably more feats and more uh, whatever else I do. What else do I do? Um, class features and race traits. I'm sure there'll be more stuff. I don't know. Anyway, everybody, that's that's a little look into my workflow. Um, what does Gorby Dog got in his winged? A new mod? Oh, shit. You know what? I'm going to do that right now, Gorby Dog. Hey, we've done this before on the show. Drake, you don't have to stay for this if you don't want. But yes, I have a new mod for Gorby Dolls that I've been meaning to publish. I just haven't been in the right frame of mind to do it. But this is the frame of mind. So I'm going to go publish right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to put this back on the other screen where that goes somewhere, right? And then I'm going to close this. I'm not leaving, but I am yeah. AFKing on headset. So, okay. So now I'm going to go, water. I'm going to hit the publish water. key, everybody. I'm going to hit the publish key. That's going to open up a shit ton of windows. And let's get this organized down here. Okay. Let's look at the windows this opened. First of all, I can close this. And I can go to modules. And I can... I want to go to... No, no, I want to go to... Yeah, load filter. I'm going to close down these. Okay. Um, I'll leave that open for the time being. So, what I'm publishing is Gore Vidal has done a new module, which I'm going to download the latest copy of into my modules folder and make sure that the underscores are taken out because. Discord likes to put underscores in file names. I hate that. I very much hate that. DMs Guild also does it. Yes, I want to replace it. Okay, Facebook, my Facebook account. You know what I need to do? My Facebook account has been hacked and gone since January 2nd. It's almost been a year. It's never coming back. So I need to shut this. I need to go to my... Steam Deck. I need to go to Publish. Choose the nine actions. And delete the Facebook page because I'm never going to use it. There it is. Delete. Okay, not going to be using that again. Twitter, yes. Messenger also can't be used. It's a shame because I used to communicate with everybody on the DMs Guild that I worked with, over 160 authors. I did send them all emails telling them that I couldn't use Messenger anymore. But I'll bet you that has severely reflected my, not reflected, but affected my business. Because guess what? Uh, I only usually get people... There's only about three or four authors left who still come to me and go, hey, Rob, are you still publishing and I go, or converting? And I go, yes. And then they send me the PDF and we convert it for them. But that's just really trailed off. And you don't realize how much you counted on Facebook Messenger, which, I mean, yes, I could sign up for a new account, but it would still, I'd still have to go chase down all those 160 people. And I already told them, I'm I'm off Messenger. Here's my email. Feel free to contact me by email or or by Discord. And nope. So let's go take off wouldn't Messenger. It, wouldn't it be easier to contact the guy that hacked your account and say, Hey, look, well, can you just copy so and paste all those people for me? Not only was it a Russian hacker, 
but I went to a place called hacked.com, which is a website that specifically helps you get back your Facebook account. And they have all kinds of tricks and to do that. And we went through all of them. These tricks include purchasing an Oculus headset and then using Oculus customer service to reenact your account because they have a back door directly to Facebook. That did not work. Going through the Washington State and California State Attorneys General, both of those did not work. Going to Facebook directly through three or four different channels, none of those ever worked. So yeah, I fucking am never getting that account back. It's just not going to happen. It's too bad. But and you know what's what? the I, Russian guy doing with it, right? I mean, so what, how? Yeah, how? What happened? How my Facebook account all that got work deactivated? You went through and yeah, nothing, what he yeah. did was he hacked in, and he did he used advertising and he did he broke terms of service, and then we tried to explain to them, oh, and then he changed my account to Elizabeth Hurley. So if you go, so here I'll show you. If I go to Facebook, right? Facebook. If I go to Facebook and try to just sign in. It says you, your, you know, your account, whatever. Please enter your email. Yeah, search. Oh, see, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now they're not even letting me attempt to sign in. Great. Now the mouse froze. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I can't. Nothing can go right. Nothing can go my way. What the fuck? Now the mouse just froze. Here, let me turn it off and turn it back on. Nope. Frozen. Facebook broke your mouse. I mean, I can alt tab, right? But I can't use the mouse. Wow. This is so bad, you guys. What a day. What a day I'm having. Let me, uh, let me try to take the battery out and put that back in. I mean, I don't know what the difference between turning it on and off is. Wow, I, I I don't I mean I mean Jesus Christ. All right, let me unplug the USB thing and plug it into a different one. There, that now it works. Why would that? I, I don't know. Anyway, secure my account. Um, your account's been disabled, but normally it tells you. Normally up here it would say what the account is. Anyways, it, it, it says that my account is under the name Elizabeth, just Elizabeth, not Elizabeth Hurley. But there's a the, the icon is a picture of Elizabeth Hurley. So they hacked into my account, did bad advertising, got got the account just suspended, and then I myself couldn't get it back. So yeah, it's fucked up. All right, so here we go. So, we are going to call this the name it's called. Shadow Race. The Shadow Race. No, kitty. Do you not understand? Oh, my God. It's all, it's all converging. It's a comedy of errors. Everything is conspiring against me, you guys, to make me have the worst day possible. All right, let's open this module. Shadow race. Right like that. Wait a minute, did I already? Did I already take a picture? No, I did not. Okay. So I will open this reference manual. Right? And then I will
Wait a minute. Hmm, looks like there might be a picture that's supposed to be there or something. Yeah. Well, Gorby Doll, I've already found a mistake. The summoner port. The summoner port rate, which I am assuming is summoner portrait, is not showing up. Shadow casting is also not showing up. So part of this is part of my part of my being a producer is I'm supposed to have told him this this already. So this should have been things I've already looked at. But let's go open the conversion checker. <laughs> Mosk and Foz told me to just <laughs> Say the uh, just end it. say just say end just it. end it just fucking end it. What but, the hell, Bobby? Bobby, damn it! But uh, these things that I'm doing here have to be done at some point, so might as well show people. And I've done this before. I've done this several times before on stream where I show people what's involved. All right, let's go to. There used to be those days when you uh, actually showed converting things too. But... Oh yeah, that was. So this is saying that a table, this sometimes gives a false. Yeah, there's actually nothing wrong here. So that is a false error, but it is actually not showing the broken image links, which is interesting to me because we just saw. Oh, now they work. So what now? Why would that be? Why would it be that they didn't work? I reload the table and then and then now they like there's no reason for that. So that was a false. So these all these are all fine. So Gorbidal has not does not need to fix anything. All right. So the shadows. So, uh, here's what I would fix. I'm a little confused that the module name is called the shadow race, but the race is called the shadows. It should be one or the other. I mean, granted, there's that's the only thing in here, so it's not going to be confused, but do you know what I mean? Like, that's a, that is a, um, what do you call that, Drake? An inconsistency in naming uh, that I would fix. I would make one or the other both of these. So that's just a little minor thing that doesn't need to be redressed before I publish it. That can be changed later. All right. So, so this they're is... From the, they're from the demi-plane of shadows. So oh, I can read... Okay. Is might be a location. Not... Mosk and Foz, you're you're saying that with all of the confidence that I'm going to be done in the next few minutes. This could be a fucking another hour for me. Get out of here, kitty. I don't like it when you're in here I'm against your against the rules. This cat just stares at me, doesn't move. Uh, nah. You know there are these things that you know probably your cats aren't smart enough to figure out called doors. No, no, no. Because if I shut the door to the office, it gets to be a thousand degrees in here. Well, I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. Shut the door and open a window. There, there you go. I could, I could do that, but then that's a whole different story. Hey, kitty. <laughs> they, but then you just... can't hear what your cats are doing in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then, yeah. Then I don't know if they crashed the whole, right. the whole system. The TV's on the floor. The car's in the driveway. Right. Or they'll just sit out there and cry, like Corbidal says. Meow. All right. I'm gonna do this kind of a thing. I'm gonna do this kind of a thing. We'll kind of just take that as the picture. Right. I'm almost, I'm almost convinced. I'm 98% convinced. 
but my cat actually enjoys being squirted in the face with a squirt gun. Because he runs away when I do it, and then he comes back five seconds later. All right. So let's close Fantasy Grounds. We got the pick. So now let's go back over here, and we're going to call this... My cat, after about a year of having the squirt gun, he could just pick it up, and she would take off running. <laughs> It didn't even have water in it anymore. Yeah, I can I can sometimes just you get fantasy point grounds, it. Grounds. Grounds. Right. Grounds. Right. So I'm calling it the shadow race, Gorby Doll, unless you want to change that. Forty nine ninety nine. Oh yeah, how much is it? Three ninety five. Four dollar? Make you holla? Man, that's cheaper than a, a cup of coffee. That's cheaper than a cup of coffee. I mean. Starbucks is expensive, isn't it? I don't buy my coffee. I don't know. I don't drink coffee. I, I've been told to, but I, I... I I've been told to drink coffee, but I... By my doctor, but I can't do it. It's disgusting. You can't even with, like, cream and sugar in it? Well, but then... if In order to make coffee bearable for me, I would have to change it into, like, so much cream and sugar that it became hot chocolate. You know? Like... Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's... All right, let's go get the description. I've, uh, I've changed my uh, coffee to just black now. I just I just need the sustenance. Actually, I, I'm enjoying coffee more that now that it's black than when I was putting cream and sugar in it because it covered up the taste of the coffee, like the true coffee flavor right <laughs> all right now i have to go to imager what do you mean sign in i'm already signed in all the time i think you got a lot of sign things get signed i got in. like it's like someone's trying to disappear my whole existence all of a sudden i think you're your IQ is out, and that's why your mouse isn't working. I think all that stuff you get signed out of. It. Well, yeah, IQ doesn't even on exist on Microsoft. my machine. I blame it on Microsoft. It likes to make you. Sign yeah, and out I recently did a Windows update. I'll bet it just wiped out IQ, probably. Yeah. I'll fix that after the show. Okay. So, add image, right? Browse. Fantasy grounds. Screenshot. It's uh, add. I try Go to, to uh, fantasy ground screenshot. Copy. Close. Whoa. Go to add screenshot. Okay. Okay. And then we say this is a this is a race. This is a this is a this is a character options. Here we go. Race. This is also English. Also virtual tabletop. Now, if you open this, nothing. Stupid. You have to go down here. Wait, that's the, DM's Guild. To the bottom. No, you have to go down here. Yeah, it's a DM's Guild. Go down here to the bottom and choose. So when grounds. you oh, when you search for it, you can search for either one. Okay, that's what. what, you, what you you search for either one. What? Oh, when you search VTT, you can select twenty, roll twenty, or fantasy ground. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do. I just go right to VTT and fantasy grounds and search that. Oh, whoops! Back. Ooh. Stop. Okay, stop. Cover stop. image. Cover image. I forgot it. I, I blew past it somehow. Oh, it's right here. So now I have to go over to. Hey, where's my? 
oh, that's I I I I, I had the. I had this unconscious feeling that I closed a window that was open by accident. I saw it happen, but I didn't know which window it was. It was Photoshop because Photoshop gets opened automatically by that thing and it's closed. So now I'm opening it. All right. And then I'll show you what we do. Celestian says Russian hackers are messing with you. Yeah, probably. Hey, what's that thing you can type in to look at the people? On your system, um, net whiz, is that it? No, there, there's a command you can do to see all of the, you know, yourself, the administrator. I mean, it's probably in set. I just don't know. I can't remember. Some somebody in the audience has to know what that is. There's some thing you can type in that shows you all the people on your system. So it'll show you your sign in administrator and then guests you know family members that that whole thing does anybody know what that is off top of your head tell me now all right so i'm going to go over here to covers net user but that's but it's one word that has a bunch of letters in it it's not it's not net user like that it's one word isn't it or is it is that did that work? I saw something. I saw something pop up for a second. Where'd it go? I did see something pop up. Yeah, did you see that? It popped up, but then it's it does it's not there. Oh, come oh, you have to do it. Okay. This is always good to do live on stream is bring open your command center. So it's just me. It's just me. I just wanted to see if there was another person on my machine. But it's just me. Oh, yeah. But according to Facebook, you are a Russian hacker. Your name is Elizabeth. Right click my computer. I don't even know how to do that. Uh, hold on. I, I, that's a Windows 10 thing, right-clicking my computer. Windows 11, you can't do that, can you? Windows 95. I know, I hear you. Get off the wall. Get down off the wall. This PC, maybe, is my computer now? Is it? Right-click. Manage. Local users. I'm not seeing local users. This computer. Right click, manage. Yeah, it's just so annoying. I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm not even joking. The whole time I'm alive, this cat doesn't meow unless I come in here and sit in this chair. And then he and then he stands ten feet away at me and, and meows, like no no like, don't don't do anything Rob to make money. I don't want you making money. I want to starve and die. Don't make any money is what he's telling me. All right, I can't I can't I got to get back to what I was doing. You got to do the even, publish thing. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna go to covers, and I'm gonna go to collaborations 2023, and I'm gonna open one of Gorby Doll's other titles, which is what? Well, let's go look because I don't remember. Portal packs. Um, 
No, no, one, a cover that has an image on it, not a purple one. Lost Relic of Kryganar. Lost Relic of Kryganar. That's not how you say it. Uh, or Abandoned Mine. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, here we go. There's a band of mine right there. For, there for listen, that one. Listen, listen right here. Alright, then what you do is you go down here and you get rid of this layer right here. Right? And then you go over here and you take this and you kind of move this down here like that. And you move it here like that. Move it here like that, like that. And you go over here like this. And you go over here and you say Copy image, that's the what he wanted to use for the cover. And then paste, right? And then we'll say All right, Zayshan, see you next week. All right, Zayshan. Title. The Shadow Race. Right. I don't know. And then the title's not centered. There. There it is. And then you get to go. Like this, and you go. Making a mod, making a mod. Oh. Making a mod, making a mod. And then you go over here like this, like that. And you go over here like that. And you go like that, that. And you go. I thought you weren't very artistic. Look at you making some art. And I'm almost sure I spelled his name wrong. I gotta check that. Yeah, I don't even think that's even close. It's not close. It is spelled S C H O L T E N. And I spelled it. Oh, I transposed. I was off by one. <laughs> it wasn't way off. It was just two letters transposed. Wait, is that even right again? Double check. Is there, I think there's another letter. S C H O L T E N. S C H O L T E N. Oh, it just looks different, doesn't it? Well, it does. When it's not a capital T, that's what it is. All right, now you have to go here to you, you save have a cap, ads. You have caps. That's what makes it look different. All right, now you have to save it again as a JPEG. Right? And then now I can put it in here. Right here. Choose file. Covers. Collaborations 2023. The Shadow Race. Boom. I agree to set up my new title. First order of business is to...
preview the page, you come down and check the box so that if any comments are made, I get an email. This is what it looks like. Right here, like that. It's not published yet. Now I have to go save and continue. Then I have to go upload files. And then I have to upload two files. One of them, of course, is the readme file. Every file has that. And then I have to upload, of course, the Shadow Race mod. Upload. Make public, Maybe. yes. Don't buy it yet. Don't buy it yet. Don't buy it yet. It's public, but don't buy it yet. Don't buy it yet. Don't buy it yet. Nobody buy it yet because I have to do a thing because nobody buy it yet because don't do it yet. <laughs> because I have to do a thing. <laughs> don't do it yet. Because I have to give him his commission. Manage my royalties. And then I have to go here. Shadow. And now... I'm going to put on the slides, maybe a driveway, no slides. I'll put the slides on so that I don't um, Talk. Docs. docs on certain information. So shadows, the, the shadow race split. And then I go there and I put his percentage and I submit it. Royalty success. Okay, then I do a different thing, which is I go to give and then I send him a free copy of it. The shadow race. I send him and myself a free copy of it. And once I do that, I click on the free copy. Now I can bring everybody back. And then I check out my free copy. Now you guys can buy it. I'll even give you the... Uh... Wait, wait, don't buy it yet. Don't buy it yet. Let me give you the... Let me give you the URL with the affiliate code, which I'm going to go put on there right now. I bought something on a Fantasy Ground store the other day, and I got an email from Doug. It said, you got your quarter. I was like, yes. Nice. Yeah, affiliate. that was awesome. Okay, there's the link, everybody. And then I bookmark it, and I put it in 2023 or like that. And then there it is. And now that I've done that, and it's all published and ready to go, I go take that and I go to Discord. Go read out in uh, moments, just moments, you're going to be able to retire. You're going to be a uh, kitty. Go to general, general chat. Hey, there's some chatter in here. Some chatter. I don't know. Okay. And then I say, hey, everyone. Mr. Gorbidal has given us a new race to <laughs> like play. So. It was sarcasm, Gorby Doll. Complete sarcasm. And then before I hit enter, I control C that because as everyone knows, I double post. I have to put it in product announcements to keep that whole catalog going. All right, and then I go over here. Then I go to X, formerly known as Twitter. What the hell is this? Yeah, and then I, I go to I keep, profile. Keep it, though, it's making me look away. It burns my eyes. I'm going to go down to, oh, it's been too long since I've done it. Here, let me go to. 
Okay. So let me go to what's happening. And then I say, hey, Fantasy Grounds fans. And then I say, Mr. And then I run over to the Team 2E authors, which I don't want to dox information really quick, so I have to go over here and put you guys on the slides. And then I go to see to look to see, does Gore Vidal have a Twitter? And yes, he does. So I copy that. And then I go back over to X, put you guys back where you can see me. And then I say, Mr. Gorbidal. Oh, yeah, I hate. Uh, you can't copy something out of Google Sheets without it grabbing all of that back end fucking crap. You'd think I wouldn't have been able to handle his Twitter. It's Gorbidal. Has given us a new race to play. Check it out. And then I show that. And then I come down here and I also add the tweet tag, hashtag guild bulletin, hashtag, I mean, at wizards underscore D and D, hashtag D and D, hashtag BTT. Also, I need to put now available on DMs Guild so that they also. Come on, man. Man. D ends. Oh, come on. Autocomplete, fucker. It started. Oh, my God. Does anything autocomplete at? Maybe it's just roll 20 now. I'm no, roll no, it's not. <laughs> oh, holy oh, shit! Do you have to go find the tag? I I know what it is. It's DM. It's DMs underscore guild. But I want to make sure. <laughs> you you have been low in oxygen for a little while, so yeah. See, so, yeah, it's it's this. Which is exactly what I thought it was, but when it's not, it's neither auto completing nor fuck whatever. I don't know. All right. Hey, Fantasy Grounds fans, Mr. Gorbidal has given us a new race to play. Now available on DMs Go. Check it out. Boom. And then when you post it, it should put the picture. It doesn't look like it does, but it does. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. But no, that's not it. Why why doesn't it put the picture? It, it's supposed to. Mm. I don't know. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Whatever, I don't know. Stupid. Anyway, what can I do? All right, then I go close that, then I close that, then I close that, and then I close so, that. So, when, close when that. you just did that and it made the and it and it pushed it out, is it called an X now? Is that what it? You just X'd. I don't know what you mean by X'd. Well, I mean you used to use Twitter and tweets shit, but now it's X. So did you just X something? I don't understand. Oh, in other words. Tweet was the verb for what you did on Twitter. And you're saying, <laughs> yeah. is the verb for X, X? I just X'd well, it. What? <laughs> what is a tweet called now? Tweets are now posts. I posted it on X. Okay. Well, that solves that. Send out a post. It doesn't sound so no. branding. Like no, I have 37 should. emails. Oh, my God. What the hell? All right. So we're done here.
Um, is there anything else I need to do? Take some turns on board game arena. Do I need to do that? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, I think you need to let these fellows go to bed. This way, this way. Oh, I'm not saying that I need to do that on stream. I'm just saying I need to do it. See, <laughs> on, for, on, for example, here, I'm 27 hours past my turn. These people could have kicked me out of the game. They chose not to. So I will take my turn and then move to the next table where I am 19 hours past my turn. And you've been slack in the last couple of days. Computer. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I, so I'm, I'm enjoying here. We'll go to the slides and then we'll end the show. Uh, the last thing I'll say is I'm enjoying rewatching the original run of Frasier from 93 to 04, right? 11 seasons. I just started season nine. So I've been watching, I've been like waking up watching Frasier all day and then going to bed for like the last week. I just finished Voyager and uh, what's the, um, the cartoon one. Uh, oh yeah. Lower deck. <laughs> yeah. And caught up on lower deck. <clears throat> yeah. I got to get caught up on lower decks. The expanse was good. Yes. I like the expanse. Also, Frasier has new episodes, which is what got me started on that. Yeah, I started poking at a couple of Frasers here. Yeah. But I didn't do I didn't commit to the whole eleven seasons. Like Well, what's fun for me is that I did watch most of Frasier weekly when it when it was on between ninety three and oh four. So I'm very well versed in all the characters. But since it's been like, you know, 30 years <laughs> since the beginning and 20 years since it ended. I I don't remember most of it. I remember key certain points and plot points throughout the series. But watching it, watching it all through right now is like I've never seen it before. It's pretty fun. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. All right. Um. So thanks, everybody, and uh, we'll be back on the channel on Wednesday, and until then, good gaming, everyone.